there's a memorial in a waterfront park regarding a statement of the Congress made uh, Public Law 100-383, which was passed August 10th, 1988 by the 100th Congress. Um, this is a law basically apologizing to Japanese and uh, Japanese people of Japanese descent um, due to the uh, internment camps and whatnot, and a few of which were in Arizona, which is uh, kind of a lesser known fact in uh, common knowledge. Here's a uh, letter from Ronald Reagan in Boston, um, bronze here, apologizing and uh, saying that it was uh, an outright travesty and all that. So if you want to <clears throat> talk about Ronald Reagan as a hero, forget about the economic deal. Think about that for a second. Um, because with new hope, we build new lives. And why complain when it rains? Because this is what it means to be free. Pretty powerful little memorial. Um, easy to miss if you're walking by with closed eyes. And may we never have those closed eyes again. Pretty, uh, pretty powerful stuff, pretty cool. There's a really cool um, picture over here too I want to show you. It's not a picture, it's a uh, carving. And I don't know, it looks like some kind of jade or something. It's probably not jade, but it's green like that. Probably copper, I don't know. Um, it kind of harkens, I say jade because it kind of harkens to the uh, Japanese deal. But really cool, just an old, China, old uh, I almost did that, um, old Japanese man. Um, with a child on his back. Really pretty cool. In uh, Phoenix, Arizona, if you guys are there, actually, it's on there's the uh, Arizona Historical Society Museum, and they have a little mock up of a Japanese internment camp, of course, with fresh wood and all that. I'm sure it wasn't like that back then, but they just found some uh, records in the archives <coughs> regarding this. Uh, things and uh, this is one of them so beautiful memorial uh, things like this are all over Portland um, like the remembrances memorials and it's very important to the people here and I think that's what kind of gives them that sensibility that worldwide um, I call it intelligent sensibility um, where they recognize things from the past and learn from it and build a better future may we all do that someday I guess um, but enough of the sappy stuff let's get back to tour in Portland